Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Is that a is that a puppy snore? That's so loud. <gasps> Pretty... Oh, you guys can hear that? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's so cute. <laughs> oh my god, it is so loud. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, you. Aww. hey you. I just heard like I thought it was like a I thought it was part of the revving. game. <laughs> what is up and welcome to another Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Hi. And our actual lawyer, Bridge. I'm probably on a government watch list. <laughs> I can't wait to find out why. <laughs> Folks, if you like this, you can catch us live on twitch.tv slash save Diddy team every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time and... If you want to support us, please head over to patreon.com slash team where for just two bucks a month, you get access to the full VOD channel of every single stream we do. Five bucks lets you vote on one of our variety streams as well as get your name included as an NPC in our D&D campaign saving throw. And at the $10 level and above, you get your name included in this Patreon song. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Burger Bun, Fluff Guff, Suna Yama, Philo, Cud, Abe, Hollidja, and Sofino. HSM, Earn Less, Crow Knight, Danny, Ant Lester, Kevin Nation, Shadow, Navi. Witch Tower, Sky, Herlock, High, Top Ghost, and Say, Aki, Forensic, Technic, Cold, JFJ, Mystic, Woody. Leprechaun, Chico Bell, Go Go, Zeppeli, Shepherdstein, T Flower, Relive Jolie, The Red Fighter, BBC, What and Sherlock's Zoom, Sillart, Ami, Borshock. Don't forget a Warner Walsh, Shiny Catter, P. Diego Garcia, Alec Boomer, Emily. Dessert Boy Man, Elijah Sly, Rick Rat, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat, Conjuring Scribes, Yo Croissant, Fulfill, A Written Word, Shade the Punisher, Sevilla! Thank em, thank em, gotta thank em all, gotta thank em all, our Patreons! Uh, Pridge, do you want to tell people about how you got on a watch list? Oh, yeah, this could be the so cold open. I was curious, I was curious how accurate this game was, so I started looking up Strychnine, uh, the poison that they, uh, uh yeah. that got Shamsphere. <laughs> mm hmm uh -huh. And like, I was finding some basic information, but I was like, I want to make sure I wasn't like getting wrong information. So I started to make very specific questions mm -hmm. about strychnine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so now it definitely looks like if like if you had if you had gone to my search history, it definitely looked like I was trying to poison someone. <laughs> um, like, how long does it take for strychnine to work? Well, but what, what I was curious about could, was one of the things, could one it of the work thing... on my neighbor Jeff? <laughs> Well, one of the things I was curious about is one of the things I read is that it's not water soluble. Huh. Oh. Um, so, and given that tea is just mostly water, leaf water, yeah, it actually would not be a good. It would actually not be a good idea to try and mix it in tea because huh. the yeah. the the white crystalline powder would not completely break down. Wow. Huh. Also, apparently, it's incredibly bitter, so you would probably huh. notice if you were drinking something with strychnine in it. Interesting. Interesting. Well, and it's apparently incredibly bitter. Yeah. Hey, you're about to call this your ace attorney with an actual poisonologist. Uh, also, uh, also, um, in it, so obviously the dose they did in this game was not enough to kill Shamsphere. Mm -hmm. Um, so in small doses, symptoms can actually show up as early as 15 minutes huh. and take anywhere as long as 60 minutes to show up based wow. on dosage. Wow. So, well, so they're, 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 the thirty minute thing they're saying isn't necessarily accurate, but it's also not necessarily inaccurate. Hmm. Okay. Preach. You're about to be our strychnine expert for this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's, that's my breakdown. That's my breakdown on strychnine. Well, thank you, thank you for your uh, your, your your hard work out there. We we really, really appreciate it. You know. <laughs> but folks, let's get back into the game. All right. So that's Mr. Shamspear. But who's that other man beside him? Yes, I think... I feel sure that we've caught a glimpse of that man before. Eh, don't worry about it. <clears throat> yeah. State your names and occupations for the court, please, witnesses. <laughs> a writer of words so sweet that they do scent the breeze. An inventor of ideas so profound, they compose the earth. The unrivaled poet, the unmatched scribe, William Shakespeare. 
were the great bard to be recalled to life and you lo what a magnificent man good fellows i am he who ponders such a miracle william shamspear so you're a guy who thinks about what would it would be like if shakespeare was still alive yeah it's not a job <laughs> that's not a very interesting description <laughs> i like to think about what would happen if shakespeare came back that's that's my whole personality uh, i got nothing else uh, uh. okay uh, I kind of want to give him like a Popeye voice because he looks like uh, he fucking. Does. I mean, he's Popeye. pulling real strong Popeye yeah, energy right yeah, there. Yeah. Oh, um, the name's Metterman, Edrin B. Metterman. What is the pun there? I mean, I know Meter Man in that he's the guy who checks oh. the meters. I go, I know that part. Okay. I don't know what Adron B is. Oh, a drone B is what the chat's saying. Oh. Like he just does his job. What? Are you, you the the bees are drones? Government <laughs> Oh shit, and the they, birds are robots. We thought it was too. we thought it was birds, but it was bees the whole time. <laughs> <sighs> oh god. Yo. I work for the ultimate gas company, East End Branch Office. <laughs> the ultimate gas company. Ah, I remember now. It was yesterday on Briar Road. And like a year ago. <laughs> oh yes, she's right. It's him. Oh, what's this? What's that man doing over there? He looks like he's trying to see into Soseki-san's lodgings. Is something wrong, Mister Naruto? Um, excuse me. Could we have a word? <laughs> cool, cool JoJo pose. I know everybody's a everybody's a JoJo character in this world. Yes, we spotted him outside Mr. Garadeb's house that morning. And he's a gas company employee. What does he have to do with this case? So, Mr. William Shamspear, you are the victim in this miserable affair, correct? Oh, heaven! Oh, hell! Do you command me to remember? That yes. is sweet poison <laughs> that didst cross me and cross mine innocent lips. I subpoenaed him for the trial, with his doctor's permission, naturally. Hearing the testimony of the aggrieved will remove any room for doubt from the jurors' minds, I'm sure. Behold, you have only to rearrange the letters of my name to see that me's a seraph, an angel indeed. Bro, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we poison this dude. Somebody, somebody, <laughs> somebody do, what is, this is an ambergrams, what are these called? Oh, that's an anagram. Uh, is that an ambergram? I thought ambergram is like forward and backward, right? That's no, a that's a palindrome. Anagram. Yeah, anagram. Oh, that's not what you. Oh, what I said ambigram. Am ambigram. Oh, no, I think it was slightly. Di they, they I think ambigram is a thing. Yeah. Nah. I think ambigram is the thing where you can flip it upside down, like uh, uh, in what was that Dan Brown novel? Uh, Angels, Angels and, Demons. and Demons. Yeah. I think those are ambigrams. Now, see, adults don't understand why kids love the taste of cinnamon toast ambigrams. <laughs> Also, people saying Amber Graham is a Ace Attorney character name. <laughs> uh, yes, Amber Graham. Yes, Amber Graham of the word is a 180 okay. rotational symmetry. Uh, symmetry. Uh, Anna Graham love, has rearranged the letters. I love, right. I love chat. I love Teddy. I love Teddy Amber Grahams. Chat. While we do this stream, figure out fun anagrams of our names. So there we go. Tell me, uh, yeah. so I can say Misa Seraph. Can we get that? Can we get that <laughs> with the uh, Jar Jar Binks boys? Misa Seraph. <laughs> that was good. I don't need to do it. That was good. Yeah, you, you did it, Zach. <laughs> Dr Dreyfus just preached backwards. <laughs> just, Thus just the the backwards. You guys just keep spelling it backwards, not anagrams. Dr 
Listen. What are you guys doing? Pridge, Pridge, you got drip. You got drip, Pridge. That's what they're trying to say. Yeah. Oh, is my Thus evil be alter. I, is noble my evil of mind, <laughs> sweet of nature, and verily honest of heart, as all heavenly angels be. <sighs> because there isn't a less contrived meaning in your name. No, not at all. The jurors seem to be very moved by this man, I'm afraid. Really? For real? <laughs> They're actually taking this seraph anagram idea seriously. Thank you, witnesses, for your illuminating introductions. But, my lord, what's the man next to Shamspear doing here? The gas man, I mean. Oh, well, he's the one who probably did it, so we needed to find a way to introduce him into the case. <laughs> uh, what? Me? Well, no. Allow me to enlighten my learned friend. You recall, I presume, your earlier impertinence. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> when you suggested that the victim had another visitor to his room on the night in question. Are you going to tell me that I was right? And, moreover, that the victim is a compulsive liar. What? Did you say that? No, no, I, I didn't quite say that. We didn't say that at we, all. We said that he lied. Right. But that's we didn't a, like, say that he's a compulsive a, that's liar. That's a real yeah. big person to accuse him of being yeah. a compulsive liar. <laughs> <laughs> this young chin stroker here is here to con controvert your wild claims conclusively. A young chin stroker is like is this is this what gets Jay Leno off? Like <laughs> Here comes the, Roll back the chin clock stroker. on Jay Roll back the clock on Jay Leno's chin jokes. I'm yeah, right. reset that counter right. to zero. Yeah, man. We have been a few strong years on that one. <laughs> chat, who here in the chat knows who Jay Leno is? There you go. Let's age yeah. Zach up a little bit. Well, he's deaf. He's like twice my age, at least. Is of course that you not do, so... David. You're older than Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn, that's not a question for you. <laughs> Fucking got his hand. You're our age. Is that not so? It was still relevant Mr. when I was in high school. Metaman. <laughs> uh, hang on, no. I'm just here. I hereby call for your formal testimonies. You will tell the court as lucidly as possible what happened on the night in question. One may smile and smile and be a villain. Yes, it doth pain me, but let the truth be spoken. The truth of that wintry night of my discontent. That's funny. <laughs> Bro, your chin is half your fucking head. <laughs> <clears throat> the snow lay about. My neighbor did cometh in the evening, bearing a gift of tea. But merry, bitter was his drink, and when he left, I did fall prostrate on my table. "'Twas the tea alone did pass my lips that late hour, not else. "'I was outside this bloke's window in the freezing cold all night, keeping an eye on his room. "'Doing pervert Excuse things.' "'Excuse me?' <laughs> "'Being a pervert.' "'No one else visited his room but that short little round back eastern fella.' "'Okay, but why?' <laughs> "'But why, though?' "'Wait!' What did you say? You were keeping an eye on Mr. Shamspear's room all night? That's right. Of course, the bloke's window's all bit blocked up, isn't it? But there's a little gap in the bricks where you can see into the room. Like, before we remove them? why? <laughs> Outside of being a pervert, why? So I spent the night trying to keep my teeth from chattering as I peered in through that. The question is, sir... Uh... Why? Thank you. Like, why, Doc? Yay! <laughs> well, now, that's because he's on my list. He's on a government watch list. 
list, the list his of people you do pervert things to? <laughs> his kiss is on my list. <clears throat> what a piece of work is a man. <laughs> Wherefore wouldst thou not stare in wonderment? What oh, a, I love how he just said, what a fucking piece of work this <laughs> yeah, guy yeah. is. What a piece of work is a man. A miserable no, pile. A miserable of pile of work. <laughs> no, so Skasky is one of those guys who likes getting peed what? on. Mm -hmm. I get it. What is a man? An exhibition. A miserable pile yeah, of work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least they're both in on this kink of theirs. I mean, that's yeah. good at least. Yeah. If they're consenting adults, then great. Right. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> This buzzing busybody hath not part in his in this play. I mean, he, but he do. I pray thee, pay him no heed. Make no more adieu, adieu about his tedious words. Okay, why don't you want this man talking? What'd you say about me? Oh, uh, okay, uh, there's yep. the bumblebee. Yep, now he yep. looks like a bee. It's his back. Oh, okay, he looks I like a now. bee. And his, his wow. neckerchief is the little wings. Yep. Okay, yeah. Yep. Now it's a now it's a great wow. name. That's pretty good. Wow. That's pretty good. Yeah, it all comes together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so wow. he says, "Does he like jazz, though?" <laughs> you like jazz? <laughs> no, no, no. Remember from the Doctor Decker playthrough. If we're in Star Wars, oh yeah, you like it's, jizz. Yeah, you like jizz. <laughs> Never forget that George Lucas was like, let me think about what should I call music in space. Not jazz, but jizz. <laughs> do you think, a powerful move. Do you think do you, do you think they like freeform jizz? Yeah, uh, of course they do. <laughs> hey, listen, take a note from Van Zeeks. Calm yourself. <laughs> calm yo calm yo tits. <laughs> This court is concerned with what happened on the night in question. Nothing more. Indeed, that is so. And, as the testimony we have just heard clearly reveals, there was none, no one other than the accused present at the time who could have carried out this crime. <clears throat> Well, I believe this may be the f the final testimony of the trial. Judge, it's way too early for that, and you know it. Judge, it? what do you think you're doing? He hasn't he hasn't been involved in enough cases to know. I guess this is technically only his third with us at this time, but like, I guess. Yeah, he'll, still. he'll figure it out. He'll figure it out. Don't he'll worry. figure it out eventually. Mm -hmm. You sweet summer child. <laughs> you now, counsel, the defense may proceed with the cross examination. Yes, my lord. <clears throat> <laughs> you mad, but. You mad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the wintry night of my discontent is so good. That's, oh, that's, that's a, a great, very. It is very. Is that good. Richard the Third, right? I think uh, that's that Richard was the III. winter of our discontent. Yeah. I think that's a Richard made III. summer by the made spring by the glorious sun of York. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, catching up with the chat, Logan cheered dollar saying, "You know, it's weird that with no poison found, they are saying what type of poison Natsume might have used." with the only evidence being that it might have taken longer than a few minutes. Yeah, that's actually a good point. If they couldn't test for the poison, oh, I guess they tested the poison inside his body. That's what they know. Well, I don't know, Would they did they say that? I mean, I guess you can argue that while he was at the hospital before the trial started, they tested him, his yeah. blood for the poison. I don't really know how good blood tests were at this period in time. Yeah. Probably uh, not very good. Spider French here, Tim Bitsing. Oh my God, if we're talking about feeling old, yesterday my brother mentioned Luigi Mansion 3, and I was like, they already made another one? And he said, Luigi Mansion's, Luigi's Mansion 2 released 10 years ago. That's not okay. Sorry if I had to hear it, so do y'all. Yeah, it was a 3DS game, right? That's crazy. Uh, Dark, Mo Dark Moon, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sexy Whistle Snails cheered $5, saying, provided I spelled these right, Zack Schneider could be increased kilohertz. That's good. Uh, I don't I don't know Pridge's full family name, so Michael Pridge could be Charlie Jimp. 
Take that. Uh, and I don't know Wes's family name at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> Those are good. Increased kilohertz is really good. That's really yeah. good, yeah. Uh, yeah. So featured 10 bits saying, personally, I love disc content. That's funny. Uh, and right with this canon, I know, right? Right with this canon resub for 14 months, and you guys are always funny with your wit and lore building. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much. I'm glad that we have like an entire world of lore outside of Ace Attorney that is real in our minds. Oh, yeah. And in our hearts. <clears throat> okay. Let's do it. Uh, he brought tea. The drink was bitter. He needed to get his prostrate checked. Yeah. He, the tea was the only thing he drank, nothing else. And he kept an eye on his room. Well, I guess we can press this and be like... I mean, I, I, that's obviously where one of us start. Yeah. He's like, still well, told why he was outside of his room. Yeah. Well, I mean, that that is a contradiction because it's bricked up. And the only way he would have been able to... Well, no, he said there's a slight crack. Yeah. Oh, he did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's the thing where, like, realistically, that crack would have to be at most, like, a quarter of, I mean, like, a half an inch. Yeah, it, 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 yeah. Like, it, what it, are you it, fucking it. seeing with that, you know? Right. Right. <clears throat> but here we go. Hold it. But the windows of that house have all been filled in. A historical artifact of the now defunct window tax. Shut the fuck up about the window tax. We get it. <laughs> Nerd. Yeah, you're right there. All bricked up horribly. <laughs> but as it happens, there's a little part of the brickwork at the bottom corner that's been opened up. I was looking in through that gap. Yes, there were a few bricks loose, weren't there? And for some strange reason, a couple of bars of soap lined up on the edge outside the well as well. I don't <laughs> like going around poking my chin in other people's business. I don't think you can help that. <laughs> Especially on freezing cold nights. But them's my orders. So that's what I'll keep doing. As long as there's breath in my body. Uh, sir? What's with all the theatricals today? Out of interest, Mr. Metaman. After the accused had left and returned to his own lodgings, did you see the victim leave the room <clears throat> at all? No, he never left. He's in that room the whole time as far as I'm concerned. And we can therefore discount the possibility of suicide. <clears throat> How can you be sure of that? The police carried out a thorough investigation of the scene and found no receptacle for the poison. And since we know the victim didn't leave his room, and hence didn't dispose of the poison's container himself, it's clear that this was no attempted suicide. Only the culprit could have removed the receptacle. Ah, uh, yes. Lucidly explained, Counsel. Thank you really was. You can't argue with that logic. <laughs> no one else visitors the room. Uh, all right, we'll press this too. You say a short little round-backed eastern fella? You, so you, you, so you can't be sure it was the defendant then? Objection. Ryan, that's the worst angle to go on that one. How many other short, little, round-backed Nipponese with a moustache do you think there are in London? Well, of course, it's only a narrow gap and it was quite dark, so I didn't notice the moustache. Oh, shit. But he showed up at around nine, so I'm pretty sure of myself. And when the person you saw arrived, did he and Mr. Shamspear drink tea together? Nah, sorry. I couldn't say. Why not? Because I couldn't see into the room all that well, could I? But what I, but what I did see was the silhouette of that little round-back fellow wearing a pretty dress. Damn it. Then the pair of them started some kind of wrestling match. Damn it. I tell you, I didn't know what to make of it. <sighs> 
he just holds up photos from art for stream last week. Did it look something like this? That's exactly it. The court submits these photos into evidence. I suppose. That was the Romeo and Juliet championship battle getting underway. <laughs> <laughs> this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> Who will take Mr. home the cup? <laughs> Mr. Metterman. Allow me to confirm one final time. Apart from the accused, can you state with certainty that no one else visited the victim on the night in question? No question. Gas man's honor. So that's the entire testimony. What do you think, Mr. Narahodo? Well, um, I can't see any obvious holes at all, to be honest. No. Oh dear. If nobody else visited Mr. Shamsbeer's room that night, apart from Mr. Natsume... I imagine the members of the jury will all conclude the same thing. Right, that he's guilty. Well, all we can do is press these witnesses for more information and hope for a breakthrough. Yes. All right, let me just press the rest of these. <clears throat> to be clear, by neighbor, you are referring to the defendant, Mr. Natsume. Oh, indeed, sire. Perchance thou wouldst that I call him the man from upstairs? And at what time did the mustachioed Nipponese visit you in your room? Can we refer to him as, like, his name or yeah. the defendant and not just <laughs> mustachioed man? Yeah. Our meeting was promised for the hour of nine. And lo, did he come to tender a gift of fragrant tea. Details which are in accordance with the defendant's own testimony, yes. And we were broiled in such a literary debate as history hath not seen before. That is probably accurate. By which I presume he means... The discussion about who was the stronger, Romeo or Juliet? Romeo or Juliet? I, Shakespeare, did play the part of young Romeo, whilst my neighbour played the fair Juliet. Each of us dressed as would our characters be to bring weight upon our merry experiment. I dare not imagine <laughs> the scene. Damn. Frailty, thy name is woman. Canst thou imagine how dismayed I was? Yes, I had heard of the Eastern art of jujitsu, but <laughs> ne'er did I dream twould be a skill practiced by the comely maiden. What? I love how they. I love how it's now confirmed that Natsume knows jujitsu. Yeah, it's incredible. That's fantastic. Juliet beat Romeo up. This is not helping our case. I believe the court has heard enough about your earth-shattering literary debate. <laughs> Perhaps you could reiterate your statement about the tea that the accused brought to your room. My liege, I am thy servant. Gladly I would do thy bidding. I just drink. I did fall prostrate on my table. Okay. Let me stop you there. Mr. Natsume left your room at 11 o'clock, but it wasn't until after two that the poison made you collapse. That amounts to more than three hours of missing time. <laughs> what is this fucking dance? <laughs> he just keeps going, that's incredible. <laughs> wow, wow. Okay, he's just not going to respond to my question then, all right. If the defendant <laughs> really had put the poison into your tea, that three-hour window of time is something you're going to have to explain. Gladly. 
Tis an easy <laughs> no, task. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Have I distracted you enough with my lobster moves? <laughs> what? I did drink of the tea, not while my guest did Staterie, but after he took leave of me. Faith, twas stone cold, but at one hour post midnight, verily were my lips parched. Objection. That doesn't sound normal. Nay, tis quite ordinary, sire, after all. They're going to say the British drink their tea cold. Thou wouldst recall our fiery debate. Oh. Amidst such argument, there'd be no time for fiery tea. <sighs> Romeo and Juliet again? And who was stronger? Mr. Shamspear, in summary, allow me to confirm. Did you not come here with the intention of naming your attacker? But of course, my liege. "'Twas the stooped lover of words did attempt to shuffle me off this mortal coil." I love, I love shuffling. I love the phrase shuffle off this mortal coil. It's good. Uh, we all know what that means. Do the Cupid mortal, sh mortal coil shuffle. <laughs> uh, Alright, this is the last one. So, you didn't have any kind of evening meal? Dinner? Supper? <laughs> Fie on luxury! Fie on gluttony! To eat thrice daily is but a waste of time. My man, you can just say you're poor. Yeah, you can just say you're poor, dude. <laughs> we, are, we are not going to judge you more than we Sorry. already are. I would that my belly were full, no more oft than the sun doth rise. Is he doing the? Is he doing it, the? It looks the exactly lady? the same as Lady yeah, First. Yeah, he doing the Lady First thing just without the arch back. Yeah, it it looks a little recycled. <laughs> well, most heroic eating habit, I must say. Night and day do I fill my hours with learned study of the great bard and playwright. Hence is it that there doth not in my chamber be than the costumes of mine art. This guy has so many fucking He's, sprites. I, I will tell you, because yeah. I, I looked up his character model to make the thumbnail last week, and his the amount of animations he has is fucking bonkers compared to, like, Almost everybody any, any else. Cast. Yeah, it's wild. This is nuts. <clears throat> that would appear to be the case, as even a rodent was found starved to death in your room. Jesus Christ! <laughs> the Grinch must have got to him. <laughs> now that I think of it, it's not just food that was conspicuously missing from that room, is it? It was the stockings and the ornaments and the trees <laughs> and the Christmas lights. I don't recall seeing a single play or script anywhere. For I have devoured them all. You should eat real food, not books, man. <laughs> You've <laughs> eaten them? I ate it. <laughs> Every word be within my skull. Didst thou imagine otherwise? Uh, yeah, dog. It's weird to eat paper. <laughs> right. That wasn't misleading at all. Now, could you turn around, do you think? This is the kid who ate paste. <laughs> Which brings us to the conclusion that the only way the poison could have passed the victim's lips is in the tea. <sighs> Spill the tea, Shamspear. Okay, so we got a thing. Oh. Uh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. Is that a is that a puppy snore? That's so loud. <gasps> Bridget, oh, you guys can hear that? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's so cute. <laughs> oh my god, it is so loud. I just heard like I thought it was like a I thought it was part of the revving. game. <laughs> My lord. 
goodness me. Yes, Mr. Foreman. I've kept my mouth shut and listened up till now. Oh, shit, no, that's not what his voice is. What is his voice? It's, uh... I thought it was like... I've kept my mouth shut yeah. and listened up till yes. now. But this has gone on long enough. Are you all with me? Yeah, here comes our first summation yes! examination. Are we to understand that you ladies and gentlemen of the jury are in, are in agreement with one another? That you've reached a unanimous decision. Too right we have. Are you all with me? Yes! Is this the third trial Fair uh, Play has been the foreman? I think only second he's been Maybe the foreman. Second. But it's the third trial he's been involved in. That's, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. One, yeah, Wait! One, yeah, he's no! Foreman for two trials. The defense is in the middle of a cross-examination! To be honest, I was holding out a bit of hope for you, young man. No, you weren't. Especially after you identified those few hours that followed the accused leaving the victim's room. Yes, the three missing hours, as you put it. But in the end, what difference do they make? None, as far as I can see. And since that's now apparent, there's really no reason to delay our decision any longer. Like I was saying before, if I don't take Five Bob home with me tonight, the missus will blow her top. Uh, what's that? Sorry, I didn't quite catch what you said. Why are you still being asked to be a juror? <laughs> Very well. Uh, let the court be apprised of your decisions. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you will state your leanings as to the defendant's culpability. Guilty! Guilty. Guilty. <laughs> what if they all just said not guilty? Guilty. Yeah. Guilty. 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 <laughs> yeah, here we go again. Uh, all of you? Well, it would appear that the jury is indeed unanimous. <clears throat> I will say those sound effects are very satisfying. Mm -hmm. Especially him putting the bottle down. I really like that. Dunk. That little sound. Yeah. So, this time at least, it seems justice will be done. All's well that ends well, as they say. This calls for a toast, I feel. Do you forget what we can do? Yeah. To the guilty being punished. <sighs> Get up, Mr. Har Mr. Narahoto, please. The trial isn't over yet. What do you mean, Miss Susato? <laughs> We've what only done this once I... before. <laughs> yeah, I know. What about the information I found in this encyclopedia of British law I have? That obscure right that belongs to the defense in these situations. Remember? Oh, yeah, because we haven't done it, so they have to explain yeah, what it is. Right. We, haven't done, we haven't done it in this game yet, so we need a little abbreviated tutorial. Summation uh -huh. examination? Yes, that's right. We don't have these in jury. Uh, we, don't, we don't have a jury in Japanese courts, of course. But here in British Court of Law, if we can reverse the decisions of the majority of jurors, we can force the trial to continue. <sighs> this trial can't end now. I just noticed in this pose, the Chunosuke is like also leaning forward on his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes, I just can't let that happen. The defense moves to invoke its right to a summation examination, my lord. Damn it. I had hoped, I had hoped you forgot about those. <laughs> Why am I not surprised at my learned Nipponese friend's inability to, de to admit defeat? You choose to cling desperately to some archaic rule you barely comprehend instead of accepting the truth. 
Certainly no other defense counselor in recent times has exercised the right to a summation examination. Because they all know that once a jury's mind is set, it cannot be altered. Even though we've done it already. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, the right remains and must be upheld. The defense counsel's request is granted. This court will proceed with a summation examination as outlined by the Encyclopedia of British Law. Thank you, my lord. And you and your fellows... Are you and your fellows prepared, Mr. Foreman? Believe me, my lord, we know all about this young lad's tenacity. They were ready for it. <laughs> Very well. Yeah, I feel so open hostility. Number, technically, juror number four doesn't know about our tenacity yet. Yeah, that's true. She's new here. She's got to learn about our tenacity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to show her our tenacity. I'd love to, I'd <laughs> love to, I was about to say, I'd love to show her God my tenacity. <laughs> wait, wait, no <laughs> judge. <laughs> hey, everybody but me this time. In that case, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I hereby call upon each of you to state the grounds upon which you find the defendant guilty of the crime for which he stands accused. The victim may not be a well aware, but he's a noble man and straight up. There's no reason to doubt the man. He's an actor. There's yeah, no way literally, he's noble. You should never trust actors. <laughs> well, I do declare the good gentleman has no reason to lie. In well, fact, I, do I think he's rather splendid. Oh, shit. Just look at the accused by comparison. He's Japanese. Ugh. Stoops all the while and has a mustache. What? Very fishy. What the fuck? Oh, she's got a fan. There's no... There's no evidence to suggest the gangling actor is a fraudsman. For now, at least. Ugh, I really don't care, like. I just need this trial to end quickly. That's not a statement. Also, that's exactly what he said the last, last time. time. Yeah. Yes. Was, I don't give a shit. I need to leave. Three hours of missing time is nothing when you reach my age, you know. Nothing at all. It's also kind of nothing, but thank you. That's yeah, also pretty irrelevant. <laughs> <sighs> I knew it. Every single one of them seems completely convinced. No. It would seem that all the jurors weren't even paying attention. <laughs> have come to the conclusion that Mr. Shamspear is a fine, upstanding, and honest citizen. If you ask me, they've all been bewitched by his strange theatrical movements. It was, it was, it was this that did it. Yeah, no, totally <laughs> he's, won them he's over. He's hypnotizing them. <laughs> <laughs> and sadly, nothing Mr. Natsume has said appears to have registered at all. Well, here goes. Let's not forget. To be fair enough, they only got like three statements in before we kicked them off the witness stand. Yeah. Because we don't court well in this case, because yeah. court is weird in this game. I, I mean, it's also, weird in, it's also weird in real life, but it's even weirder in these games. Yeah. <laughs> I've pleaded with the jury on suzuki sans behalf before, and it worked. So you never know. Before we begin, it might be an idea for me to remind you exactly how a summation examination works, Mr. Uh, you, you no, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 uh. I oh, guess. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. I, I didn't need to do that. I feel bad now. <laughs> Thank you for the kind offer, Miss Susato. But I've been but through plenty up. of these summation examinations now. I think it's important that we don't delay the start any longer than necessary. You don't have to explain to me something we did two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, I understand, and I'm quite sure you're right. If you're confused by anything at any point, you can turn to me for, to advice. You can turn to me for advice whenever you like. I'll be here for you. The key to this is really listening carefully to each juror's statement. 
finding two that are contradicting. Ryan, you, you just said don't explain it, and you're explaining it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't escape the tutorial. <laughs> Escape a tutorial, you no matter what. Please, Council, proceed with the summation examination. <sighs> yes, my lord. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, let's get him. He's, yeah, he's got his hands on his, his hips, like, yeah. <laughs> it's good. Also, has the witness bench always been that long? It, it I think, changes shape depending on how many people yeah. there are on it, if I remember correctly. That's magic as shit. Uh, I think we, we, we have to start pressing some of them, and that'll give us options to to. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think, but, I don't, yeah. You don't have anything yet, so, I mean, yeah, I think the two people who said he's upstanding would be a good start, then you always took the people who had yeah. nothing important to say, because I like to trip you up on those. Yeah, I think those are good ideas. making their nothing statements important. Well, there are plenty of people in London who seem noble but poor. Couldn't some of them also be liars? I've no doubt about it. Like that shaky client of yours, for example. Okay. Absolutely not! Mr. Natsume is no liar! Look, the point is, the only thing that passed the victim's lips that night was the Japanese man's tea. When you take that gas man's testimony into account as well, the truth couldn't be any clearer. Well, that's alarmingly logical. But let me be frank here. <laughs> and don't call me Frank. <laughs> I'm a gentleman with a gentleman's values. You can be Frank, can I be... Kazuma. <laughs> Kazuma. If it turns out that the old Shakespearean chum is a rotten liar after all, I'd gladly change my decision about the defendant. Okay, that's yeah. probably... And I'm sure that, my fellow... That's relatively telling. Yeah. Nah. And I'm sure my fellow gentlemen on the jury would do the same. Isn't that right? Well, um, yes, perhaps. Though I don't see it happening. Eh, what's that? Elderly gent on the end here, you know. You'll have to speak up. Yes, we know. <laughs> Look, I really don't care about all this nonsense. I just need this trial to be over. Can we... This guy should not be on any jury ever. Like, how many gentlemen do we actually have on the jury then? <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Just the, the armband. The armband motion that doesn't make sense when he's not wearing an armband. All right, sir, I may hold you to that. Don't forget what you said. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll press this one too, just because... Are you saying that you believe the man to be trustworthy because he's, quote, rather splendid? No, that's not what I said. The point is, the man is the victim here. What reason would he have to lie? And yes, he is rather splendid. Damn. So you say, yet again. Meanwhile, the man who stands accused behaves so suspiciously, it's exhausting to look at him. I'm afraid he's not splendid at all. Splendid logic there, madam. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't really want to talk to him. I do want to talk to her. You're the, hey, only fresh, you're the only fresh face here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, you come to court often? <laughs> Maybe you should. A fraud. <laughs> Knowing this game, you'll you, be here you, again. You probably will show up in a later case, yeah. Uh -huh. A fraudsman. What do you mean by that, madam? It really is a most tiresome problem for the company. Most irritating. Ooh, an entrepreneur. Mm. We can be absolutely certain that a customer is stealing from us, but without hard evidence. We can't even threaten to take action for fear of being sued. I'm sorry, you, you, you've lost me a little there. Who are you? I'm the wife of Augustus Altamont, owner of the Altamont Gas Company. Again, this feels like a weird. It's gonna. This is gonna end up being a weird conflict of interest thing. I guarantee it. 
Good gracious! Ultimate gas, you say? Gas is the future of energy in this country and around the globe, but proper handling is essential. As I'm sure our employee from the East End branch office would be the first to agree. Absolutely, Lady Quinby. Gotta be used properly. Ultimate gas is the best in the world, of course. Is this just British Petroleum? We sell propane and propane accessories. <laughs> ah, I think we may have solved the mystery of the bow from earlier, Mr. Narahodo. Oh, that's funny too. Uh, her name is Quinby, like Queen Bee, and he's a drone bee. Oh, yeah. That's uh, the Queen Bee. Yeah. That's good. He's a little worker bee. Again, BP, British Petroleum. It's, it's all full circle, folks. It's the B movie, baby. Uh -huh. Jerry Seinfeld, the B movie. <laughs> One of the weirdest movies ever. Right. He bowed in defense to his employer's wife, did he? That oh. dude, that chick wants to have sex with that B voiced by, voiced by Jerry Seinfeld. It's very weird it's, movie. It's so weird. I it's can't. So wrong. I can't believe that movie was made. <laughs> Who that said. movie? Chrono it said, you like gas? <laughs> <laughs> so, would I be right in assuming that the reason Mr. Metaman was watching Mr. Shamspear was up... The reason Mr. Metaman was watching what Mr. Shamspear was up to in his room... I'm afraid that there's no end to the lengths the population of the East End will go in order to steal our gas. So I really have no choice when the, company's I when the company identifies somebody as a possible fraudsman. But to dispatch a worker to watch the suspect day and night, we're very thorough in our investigations. Oh, he's a possible fraudsman for gas. That's going to be our yeah, end. Yeah, he's trying to steal the gas, yeah. So yeah. you mean Mr. Shamspear is... I wouldn't come out and say it in public, <laughs> but you can finish that sentence with a grubby little gas thief. <laughs> I won't and say he's her, a piece of shit. Look at her shit. big stinger. She's got a big old stinger, too. That's that's really good, actually. That is really good. You have noticed the public gallery in here, have you? The eye of man hath not heard. The ear of man hath not seen. Faith, wouldst thou wound me with thy words? Were I to let them penetrate the skin? But seraphs hear not insults, only choirs of angels in song. We may not have evidence yet, but my workers won't stop buzzing around you until they find it. And when they do, you'll find yourself blasted back to your angelic heights in an ultimate gas explosion. I don't think you're allowed what? to threaten to blow people up if they don't yeah. pay their gas. Yeah, <laughs> what? <laughs> Shit. So, Mr. Shamspear has been stealing gas. I wonder, juror number four, if you wouldn't mind adding that information to your statement. My pleasure. Was it the bit about ripping that thief apart that you enjoyed? No. A little before that part about violence, if it's not too much trouble? <laughs> not the part yes, where you well, you're trying to explode him. <laughs> No, keep the part about violence later. That's for me. <laughs> this could be it. This could shift the balance. So, victim the victim fine. puts on Four a fine performance, but in reality, he's a common thief yep. of my company's gas. Look at uh, that. The woman. Well, yeah. It's either the woman or the juror number three. I can't Well, remember. he says now, uh, no, yeah, if you can you show know, me the you can show liar. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Yep. Objection. Slam. Uh, she didn't react. I'm kind of bad. I know she. Because uh, that's one of my favorite bits is when you go, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy hell. <laughs> These two statements clearly contradict each other. Good gracious. To whose statements do you refer, counsel? Juror number Did you one. See the big spotlight? <laughs> oh, yeah. Who installed those? <laughs> <laughs> That would be me, my lord. I thought we could use some floodlights for the stage. <laughs> That's good. 
Hey, oh, so what are you yelling it, about, when lad? Did, when did our technology get so advanced that we have spotlights? <laughs> <laughs> Technically, they're not spotlights in the way we think of them, but they had lights like that essentially function as spotlights at this time. Oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, these it... are fully modern. These are fully modern spotlights. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> let me have my. Let me make my anachronistic joke. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Fridge. <laughs> you give me this one more time, please. Hey, what are you yelling about, lad? I presume that you've heard German, German number four's statement made by the wife of the owner of Altamount Gas. Well, yes. The victim, who you claim to be no to a, be a noble, straight-up man, just wrestled with another man in a woman's dress last night. In <laughs> fact, definitely not straight <laughs> or up. Uh, in <laughs> fact, turns out to be a common thief. So the good lady says, but there's no evidence, is there? You and I both heard them say as much. Also, he's an actor. Oh, shit, oh, you're well, right. throw him in the gulag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, send him to Russia. Whoa, what? <laughs> Did somebody call for me? Yeah, beef, beef stroganoff. <laughs> what are you doing here? I am here it's to true. see Crystal Palace. <laughs> <laughs> and take this man to gulag. And to gulag. <laughs> it's true. We don't have evidence as such just yet. But the claims aren't baseless, you know. They're quite based. <laughs> uh, a government a government trying to take down a small guy for stealing gas is definitely not based. <laughs> what? You heard me. Seeing as his operation has already been compromised. I would suggest that the court hears testimony from our East End branch office employee over there. I'll do whatever you say, my lady. Gasman's honor. The bow animation is a bit much. German number one, you say you are a man of your word. Uh. If I could show that Mr. Shamspear was a liar, you assured me that you would reconsider your decision about the defendant's guilt. <clears throat> yes, I did say that. And as a man of honour, I'll hold to it. As I'm sure the other gentlemen of the jury will. Me? Oh, well, yes. Now that we've found out the man's a liar, perhaps we ought to consider the matter further. Well, if I'm perfectly honest, I haven't heard half of what you've all been saying. So if this means you'll recap a few points, that would suit me down to the ground. Sure. Sure. Oh, no, I'm not having any part of this. I want this trial over and done with. In that case, <laughs> huh? I should change my leaning. Hell yeah. Can we only have to find one contradiction this time? Yeah, yeah I guess. Nice. Wow. So... Mr. William Shamspear, if that is your real, if that is your real name. Wow, they actually said if that's your real name. <laughs> if that is that's your so real good. name. We of the jury demand to know exactly what kind of a man you really are. Go 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 go. That's four jurors! Four for not guilty! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr. Narahoto! Victory! Order! Order! Well, this is quite extraordinary, I must say. As a result of the defense's summation examination, uh, the jury's leaning has changed. Now only two jurors say guilty, whilst four say not guilty. Yeah, yeah, basic math. I therefore declare this court to be in a state of disaccord. To be in discord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he does a discord call? Nice. Yeah, yeah, we're using this right now. <laughs> 
Uh, hello, guys. Are you all here? Are you ready no, to judge, make you're muted. Judge, judge, you're <laughs> muted. <laughs> Bidu. And order the trial. I to think continue. I was muted. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I forgot about Kronos and says, Your Honor, I'm not a cat. I forgot how. Your Honor, I'm not a cat. It's it is just, just so funny. Oh. One of the greatest videos of all time. <laughs> I can hear you. I think it's a filter. It, in the... it is, and I don't know how to remove it. I've got my assistant here. She's trying to, but uh, I'm prepared to go forward with it. That's, I'm here live. It's not, I'm not a cat. I can I can see that. Yeah, break your cup, you little don't baby do it. boy. I know you want to. Yep. Ah. <laughs> you have spoiled the bouquet, Mr. Sham Spear. <laughs> I'm not listening. <laughs> I can't hear you. La la la, to be or not to be, la la la. <laughs> the ladies and gentlemen of the jury now find they are unable to trust you, the victim. Okay, he's doing a hear no evil, see no evil shit, yeah. La 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 la, I can't see you, la la la. <laughs> That's not how that works. <laughs> But you gods will give us some faults to make us men. So God mend me, I do swear. This gas man speaketh that which concerns him most. Not but gas, not but thin air. Aye, it burneth bright a while, but it hath no substance, and it doth reek foul. Oi! What do you say? Do I take it, Mr. Shamspear, that you deny the allegations of gas thievery? Most heartily, my lord. Hast thou forgot I am a seraph, an angel? Noble of mind, sweet of nature, and verily honest of heart. Oh, you flowery mouth pompous bean pole. Just because I haven't got the evidence yet. Why are you choking yourself, sir? I'm into this sort of thing. Okay. Don't Mr. kink shame me. Mr. Shamspear, if... Don't kink shame him. <laughs> <laughs> if, in fact, you are not noble of mind, sweet of nature, or honest of heart, if you are a liar, then your testimony should have no sway in this courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> Just doobie doobie doobie. <laughs> God, again, like he has so many other so idol animations. Yeah, it's crazy. And that was a brand new one. That's wild. It is my considered opinion that at the present time no other possible culprit of this crime has been identified. All testimony heard by the court thus far heavily implicates the defendant. In short, it would not be unreasonable at this stage for me to rule on the case. Now no. we need a judge mation examination. <laughs> However, in light of the fact that the jury has expressed concern about the fidelity of this witness, I believe it would be inappropriate for this court not to pursue the point further. Objection. Grow a pair, your honor. <laughs> Do it. Do, Do it. it. Do it. I assure you, my lord, that would be a waste of the court's time. The gas and this case are unrelated. Juror number four. Yes. Didn't you say before that although you had no hard evidence to prove this man has been stealing gas, you, you had have... some soft evidence. <laughs> that you have strong grounds for suspecting him. That's right, we do. Don't we, hmm, worker? 
Wow, she just calls him worker. Mm -hmm. She has big step on me energy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, Lady Quinby. Gas man's honor. Very well, then. We will hear your testimony now. We will tell the court precisely why you believe the victim, Mr. William Shamspear, has been stealing gas. Are we about to have another juror testify in this fucking trial? Oh, no, no. Okay, it's him. Yes, my lord. It would be my pleasure, if I may, my lord. Oh, shit. Oh. Well? Go ahead, madam. This worker's testimony may have a significant bearing on the good name of my husband's company. Therefore, I should like to take the stand <laughs> alongside him in a supervisory role, if you wouldn't mind. Wow. Woohoo! Oh, yeah! Sweet as honey! Yeah, 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 yeah! My guy, what? <laughs> oh, dude, his mouth is so big with that chin. Yeah. He's, he's simping real hard. Uh-huh. Very well. How dare you? He's As not his company man. As an exception, <laughs> I shall honor your request. Beep. Thank you, my lord. You wait till the boss gives you an earful. Woohoo! It's gonna sting. You mark my words. They're, okay, now they're now they're running the bee bit a little into the ground. I think. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. <laughs> they're bees. They're bees. Who I'm, a bee, I'm a bee, I'm a bee, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bee. <laughs> <laughs> so you will both testify before the court on the subject of the illegal consumption of the Altamont Gas Company's fuel. Yes. Is that clear, my good man? Clear as Ultimate Gas, my lady. Which is the clearest in the world? What? Is your gas clear? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think the gas has gone to his head, Mr. Sutter? <laughs> I think the man is just a very dedicated employee, Mr. Narahodo. Oh, Susata, you sweet summer child. 